Hello everybody, welcome to uh, my channel. Today we will see about uh, interaction plots for completely randomized design and randomized uh, complete of design. And most of my followers uh, requested me this question, then I will answer uh, by this video. So as usual, you have to load the Agador uh, package which helps us to compute a uh, factorial experiment uh, in two way and three way as well as the interaction plot. So load this package to your R software, then let's submit this one. And, and again, uh, let's import our data uh, in the form of CSV, it's found in desktop. And the name is DD, yeah. Let's import it, yeah. So my data is composed of uh, two uh, factors. And the first factor is V, which stands for the variety, and uh, it have two levels, how we and uh, Cora uh, varieties, and they are, uh, is their names, and here is uh, PG, which stands for uh, plant uh, growth uh, regulator, and uh, there are um, four uh, levels, the first one is CC, the, the second one is PVZ, the third one is uh, GS3, are the uh, levels of the plant uh, growth uh, regulator and here is rep which stands for uh, replication and gy for the response uh, variable so our aim is to compute uh, interaction plots for uh, crd as well as r3 design using the agrod uh, package so let's assign any name i uh, used here uh, Aku, and the function uh, it's followed by with uh, function with and dd is our data name here is the data name of the excel and uh, fat 2 dic which stands for factorial experiment for two uh, factors so in our scenario we have two factors the first one is v which is variety and pg is plant across our data so dic is helps to compute crg design in two factor experiment then it's followed by the first factor is in our case uh, v and second factor is pg and it's followed by the response bar so type this and submit to our studio then you will get uh, such results even you can get detailed information over here but our aim is not this one but uh, if you're interested uh, about the result you can get here is for example the normality computer using the shapiro with this test homogeneity of variance using the Bartlett test. There are a number of ways that I explained in previous tutorial, or you can refer that for more uh, information. Then uh, this one is in the form of the uh, bar plot. And as I mentioned before, there are two uh, factors. There is the uh, variety which stands for how we end Cora. And uh, this color uh, legend that means is uh, around, I'm not good in color, but let's say it's red. Uh, CC is designated by this color and J3 by this color, PVZ by this color, and SAR designated by this color. And from these observations, the highest uh, grain yield was obtained from Cora variety uh, at the PVZ level. And again, it is uh, statistically par with how we variety with SAA, since this color and this color are much. So it's followed by mm, it's statistically par or similar with this, and again it is uh, similar with how we and CC as well as uh, GS3 value, but it is statistically significant with the rest uh, interaction. So if you are not interested in this one, you can go for interaction. But, but if you are interested in this one, just no need to bother yourself. Stop here. So let's continue. So in order to plot uh, interaction, just you have to use only here is plot underscore interaction and the model that you use. So in our case, our model is ACU. So put this value into the parentheses and submit this one. Then you'll get the interaction plot uh, this way. You can also uh, uh, arrange x you can also give a title for x axis and y axis by using uh, xlab and ylab and uh, 
the reactor refer in my tutorials regarding to in customization or the modification of the plot. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, somehow it's complex, there is a bar, and if you want to remove uh, some unnecessary details from the graph, you have to modify in this way. Use plot underscore interaction, then the model is ACU. And for example, if, I, if you don't want, if you didn't, or if you don't want to uh, incorporate the box slot label, so you have to use, instead of true, you have to use false. So this box will be uh, removed from our interaction plot graph. Then repair is called true. It helps to avoid um, text overlapping. And the point size, it helps to increase this point. Yeah, If you want to increase uh, from the what it is, you have to use uh, this uh, function or this code. Then the line size is 0 0.8, 0.8. Then if you decrease it, it will be dash. Uh, so that's, again, it's upon your preference. Then you is, uh, if you want to set the width bar, you can assign in this way. And again, if you want to remove the uh, error bar, this, this line. So uh, instead of true, you have to say false. So submit this one and P to R. Yeah. As you can see, it's modified in this way. Moreover, if you want to increase the point size, for example, let's say here point size 4 and let's um, use this 0 0.2. Yeah. This way. You can you can also mm, customize your interaction plot in this way. Coming to the second uh, type of design, uh, randomized complete block design, let's assign Akutsu followed by with function, then the data name, then FAT, which stands for factorial experiment, and two means you are using uh, two different factor uh, factors. Then DVC, which stands for uh, randomized complete uh, block design. And here is followed by the first factor, second factor, the block uh, or the block that contains the replication, then the response variable in our case is gradient. Submit this one and uh, you can get a result. But what makes differ from RCBD, uh, CRD to RCBD is the involvement of what the block. So uh, let's uh, compute the interaction uh, plot. Then I assign here is D, then plot interaction, then ACO2, uh, which is the second model, uh, which is stands for randomized complete block design. Then I don't want to label the box, so it's equal to false. But if you want to label the box, you have to say true. Then repel is equal to true. It's helps again to avoid text overlap. All things are the same. And I think this uh, code will not be work here. Yeah. So by this way, uh, you can uh, compute interaction plot for uh, two factors in CRD as well as RSVD design. So I'll put all the course and data for your practice in my description box. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.